I recorded a video about UTM parameters a little while ago, it was about a year ago, and in the last couple of months, that video started to take off. And someone left a comment, which kind of ticked me off. Basically, they said in this comment, I wasn't actually showing you how to realistically do this. I was basically just trying to sell you on my services at the end for me to help you do it. And as MJ would say in that meme, I kind of took that personally. But when I reflected on that comment, they were kind of right. I realized I wasn't showing a proper use case in how most of you are probably using this because in that video I showed you an example of if you used your candy link directly say on your profile on Twitter or your LinkedIn profile or just dropped it at the bottom of email I showed you how you could track UTM parameters using that link but realistically most of you are building a funnel or building a landing page and that is actually most of the people I'm working with coaches online services you have a funnel or a landing page of some sort and you have an embedded Canly like you would see here. You have some type of headline, you have a VSL and then at the bottom you say book a call. That is probably your typical funnel that you're building or your landing page. And a friend reached out to me. I actually helped him with this today and this is what inspired me as well to record this video because there are actually two ways you can pass in UTM parameters to an embedded Candly, and I'm gonna show you those two ways. So the first way is you hard code it and the second way is a more dynamic way and you can decide which one is best for you and I'm just gonna show you both ways and show you the code and give you the code and all of that. So let's start with the most simple version there is. So let's say we have Candly right now and we want to embed our candy. You're probably at this point, I'm just showing you step by step so you can see exactly how I'm getting to where I'm going. So we have our, our code to embed our candy. So let's say we open up Go High Level, we embed the code. If you're doing this in ClickFunnels, the principles are exactly the same. You have a code block, drop in the code. Now you have your embedded candy. Sweet, we're good to go. And now the question is, damn Gavin, how do I get the UTM parameters in there? So the first way we can do this is we can hard code this. And what that would look like is, you can see here, in this JavaScript code, we have a full Cadenly URL. And if you remember my original video, this is kind of what I was showing you to do, but not in the embedded use case, but we can do the exact same thing. So we can add a question mark and we can add on the UTM parameter we wanna add. And in this case, I'm saying UTM source. Everyone who books an appointment on this Cadenly, on this landing page, give them the UTM source of Facebook. Now, in what situations would this work? This would work in the situation that my friend needed it. He reached out to me today and he gave me this exact situation. He said, we have different landing pages, so different URLs. The pages are identical for the most part and they are using the same candy. How can we differentiate between the leads come to each of those pages? And this is how we could do it is we know Facebook people are only going to this URL, this landing page. YouTube people are only going to this URL and then Google ad people or whatever other platforms are only going to that URL, but they all have the same candy. We can differentiate by hard coding the UTM parameters in this case. So we can add question mark and I said UTM source. Let's say it's on the other page, it might be UTM YouTube. If it's another one, UTM source could be uh, TikTok. We can add on campaigns, mediums, whatever you want to do. But again, this is gonna make everyone who books in those Canly appointments have the same source, same medium, etc. Maybe this works in your use case like it did for my friend, maybe it doesn't. I'm gonna show you the dynamic way now, which is maybe the other way that's gonna work for you. So I'm just gonna remove this to make my life easier. We wanna do the dynamic way. What does the dynamic way actually mean? So that means, for example, this was the example landing page I, I just put together quickly. And you can see here, I have UTM parameters saying UTM campaign from the URL, UTM medium equals haters. Thank you for the inspiration. Again, you're not really a hater. I like constructive feedback. So this is the UTM parameters in the URL. Now we wanna get that into here, into our candy embed. How do we do that? We need to use some magic of JavaScript. And this is probably too technical for most of you. That's why I'm gonna give you the code. I'm just gonna explain anyway. So you can see for the most part, we have the exact same embed Canly here. Same code that we just got from the side, but now we're not gonna hard code it. We're not hard code over here. Ignore that part, we're past that part. Now we need to use a whole bunch of JavaScript. What I've added on is a bunch of JavaScript, which does just actually two things. Basically, we first need to get the UTM parameters that are in the current URL. 
so in this current url that is what this code is doing it is getting those utm parameters and then the second block of code is basically once the window has loaded once everything is loaded on our page let's get those utm parameters from the url and we are attaching it to our canly widget that is embedded we are going to pick out the utm parameters that we want utm campaign utm source medium content terms and we are going to attach it to this Canly widget for this given person visiting and what that means is so if i come in here and i do haters two and i do utm uh, content equals super duper content i don't know whatever it is i just reload this page and let's say i book for friday coming up the 16th just remember that date so i can show you now in the testing at example.com and now lots of utms and now i schedule this event and then we go over to our scheduled events and it was the 16th if i remember and you can see here we got from the url haters to super duper content and we know it was the new one that we just made so that is how that's going to work this is the dynamic way as i said it's quite a bit more code the initial candy embed is still the same but we need this additional javascript to fetch the utm parameters from the current url and then we need to attach them to the canly widget and canly does have a bit of a walkthrough of this they say how do you actually attach utm parameters to embed but they kind of leave out the most important part of this of getting the utm parameters and actually attaching them to the widget they're just kind of like go speak to your web developer have fun type of thing and in this case i guess i just became your web developer so this is my final call out. If you do want help setting up this type of thing, after I just gave you a step-by-step -step process and gave you all the code, then you can still reach out to me if you're struggling with it and I'll help you set this up. But also if you are a business owner and you want help automating your processes so you can scale, make more money and save a bunch of time, this is what I do. I'm a no-code automation expert, worked with 100 plus businesses at this point, top rated on several freelance platforms and I enjoy helping people who are coaches, online service businesses, you can reach out to me, you can book a call and I can see how I can help you. Hopefully this inspired video by some of those constructive feedback comments and my friend reaching out to me again helps you even more this time and I can't think of any other way to help you with UTM parameters anymore. So good luck.